The new patch 2.13 update for Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty could not have had worse timing, as I had just spent the last week installing hundreds of mods in preparation for a new playthrough. If you're like me and you were blindsided by this update, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to update your mods to be compatible with the latest version of the game. Additionally, we'll cover which mods are exceptionally important to update so you know what to do if a new patch is released in the future. Finally, I'll show you how to downgrade your game to the previous version of 2.12a using Steam. Theme. I'll also cover a few troubleshooting issues in this video, but if there are any bugs or errors you encounter, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try to help. If you just want to go ahead and downgrade your game, use the timeline in the video description below to skip ahead. Open up Vortex Mod Manager and make sure you're signed in in the top right. Head over to your Mods tab for your current Cyberpunk profile. In the top here, we have the Check for Updates button. Since I have 300 mods, this will take a while, but I'm going to click it just for the sake of this video and I'm going to let it run its course. Once Vortex has finished checking your mods for updates, it'll briefly leave a pop-up saying that there were updates found. Now it's a little bit ambiguous at first which mods in Vortex Mod Manager need updating or what were marked. So an easy way to do this is to go to the top right here, click this cog wheel and toggle the version column. Now we're going to go up to right here and we're going to click update available to filter on which mods need updating. I have three mods here that need updating because I've already gotten things like Cyber Engine Tweaks updated. And we're just going to look at some differences right here. This first one right here, it has a weird icon that says mod has to be updated, but I have to pick the file myself. I'm gonna right click this mod, open on Nexus Mods. I'm gonna go to the Files tab, and yep, there's only one main file. I'm going to actually head over to this one, which is still an older version. I'm going to right click it. I'm just gonna remove it and delete its archive. I'm gonna go back to the file page and download the new file, open on Vortex. I've already downloaded it because I did a recording earlier that failed. We're gonna continue. We're going to install it and if I filter by download time right here. We're going to see it's at the very top. I'm going to enable it. If I click this drop down, I've accidentally downloaded it twice. So I'm just going to remove one of these archives as well. There, I have the mod updated. Now it's deploying and everything should work. We go back to this right here and we filter back on what needs updating. Now only two mods need updating. And rather than going to their mod page, we can simply just click right here. Mod can be updated and it'll update it to a newer version. Right here, you're gonna get a pop-up. I'm going to update current profile. It's going to disappear right there. And it's gonna put it at the top right here. Again, there are two versions. This was the older version. I'm just gonna remove that archive. Lastly, I can do the same for this other mod. One thing to make sure of is that the mods that you're updating, their requirements are also kept updated. For example, Archive XL and Red 4 Extension did get updates for patch 2.13, so you're going to want to update those as well. I like to link my Cyberpunk directory on my desktop so it's very easy to access the mods folder. Another way to access it would be to right-clicking Properties on your Cyberpunk in Steam, going to the Installed Files tab and clicking Browse. If you right-click this, Copy Address as Text, right-click your desktop, do New Shortcut, and then you just paste in the location of the item and click next. It'll give you a nice little shortcut to your game folder directory. To prevent auto updates on your game so that it doesn't accidentally update when a new patch goes live and screw up all your mods, you're gonna wanna right click Cyberpunk and Steam, go to properties, go to updates, and make sure that automatic updates are turned off or they only update when you launch the game right here. Now, just as a fair warning, downgrading your game assumes that you haven't updated a single mod yet to a newer version. So if we're downgrading to patch 2.12a, then all of your mods should be the same as when you were playing on patch 2.12a before the update. And if you have updated something like, say, Cyber Engine Tweaks, then make sure you just get the older version again so that when you do launch the game in the older version, there are no issues. So downgrading your Cyberpunk to version 2.12a is quite simple. We're going to follow along with this guide created by Demon Rise on the Steam community page for cyberpunk and I'm gonna leave it linked down in the description below so that you can copy the codes and follow along I'm also just gonna leave the database codes in the description as well so that you can copy it there as you can see it's outlined very well the main game is 60 gigabytes Phantom Liberty is 30 gigabytes and the red mod tools are 100 megabytes but contain a ton of files for the sake of this video I'm just gonna download the main game and of course the red mod files if you own Phantom Liberty DLC download this as well there are three depots you want to download Download the first two if you do not own Phantom Liberty. Download the third one as well if you do own the DLC. You just want to copy these codes, which 
for me, I copy them to a notepad right here so that I can easily just access them. First off, we're going to copy this link right here to open the Steam console. The best way to do it would be to Windows R and then click OK. It'll take you to this page. As you can see, I've already downloaded some of the database files. Another way to get the database open is to just go to your web browser of choice, paste it in. You'll get this pop up and you just click Open Steam Client Bootstrapper. It will also take you to the console. We're going to get our depot codes and you just want to copy each one into this text box here hit Control v and then click enter since i've already downloaded these files i will not do this but it should give you this highlighted message right here around 60 gigabytes worth of files it's going to take a little while so give it some time to get those files downloaded the same thing for the red mod dlc can also be copied in so I'm going to paste that in there. You'll also get this message right here, download depot. It'll be around 19 megabytes. It's actually probably bigger, but the final thing you'll copy is the Phantom Liberty code, control C, and then paste it in and just let it run its course with all three depots. So once Steam is done downloading your older game files, you're gonna wanna head over to where it was downloaded. We open the file explorer. We head to our drive that Steam was installed upon. We go down to Program Files x86, we find Steam, we go down to Steam Apps, we go to Content, and then we'll have this code right here represents what Cyberpunk's game folder is. We can see that the size is roughly 61.4 gigabytes, which matches up with me downloading only the base game and downloading Redmod. Now I open this up and I'm gonna have two depots. Right here, this looks very similar to what your Cyberpunk directory looks now, except for, you know, it's missing a few things. And if we go back, we check, this is the Redmod tools folder. These two depots are very important as we need to copy them into our game folder if we wanna downgrade the game. Heading over to the Redmod depot, you just grab this, drag it into here and you drop it. It will copy the files into your game. Now for the main folder depot, just so that you can check that the Steam Client Bootstrapper has finished, it will actually give you a depot download complete message. Another way to double check is to right click, hit properties, and you can see the size is about 61 gigs, which matches up with the size of the game. We're gonna open this folder. We're gonna highlight everything. You're just gonna wanna control X to cut it out, or I guess right, or I guess right click everything and hit cut. And then when you're in here, you want to right click and hit paste. It's going to ask you to write a bunch of files and you're just going to allow the folder system to do so. Once that's done, your game should be patched for the previous version. This general downgrade game version guide on Steam can help explain the details and steps in more depth if you want to follow along with this. It'll tell you how to access Steam database, get app numbers, open the Steam client bootstrapper, download files, dump them into your game's directory and get your game patched down to a different version. For the sake of giving you guys the tools that you might need, I will leave this linked in the description below. I constructed my mod list on a Google Sheets file that is published to the web and linked down in the video description below, so you can use it as reference if you don't want to see what mods I'm using. Be warned that some of these mods do have adult content and you have to have 18 plus enabled on your Nexus Mods profile to be able to view these mods, so please browse at your own discretion. At the very top of this mod list, I have an Essential Mods tab. Mods highlighted and green are updated for version 2.13, which is the latest patch. The other two mods, Red Script and Tweak XL, have not received updates, but the game also runs on 2.13 without them needing to be updated, so you're good to go by updating Cyber Engine Tweaks, Red 4 Extension, Archive XL, and Codeware if you do have those mods. These are the most common mods that are used as requirements for other mods but when you're updating mods, always make sure that the requirements are updated regardless. One final error that I wanna cover in case some of your mods are not working. Perhaps you've downloaded a mod and you're getting script errors or your game isn't launching or you get into your game and you're seeing that mod files and content are just not deployed. You're not getting what you thought you downloaded. There's likely an error that you have red mod auto deployment enabled for older mods. There's a simple way to fix this. Make sure in Vortex, when you go to settings, you go to V2077 settings, if you have automatically convert old style archive mods to red mods on install, if it's selected, some of your mods may not work. In my case, I was having a bunch of clothing mods not working, so I disabled this. I went to my mods tab, I control A highlighted everything, and then I clicked reinstall and went through the reinstall process. With 300 mods, that does take a while, but it is worth it to get your game working again. So just briefly on screen, I'll show you the difference between having it enabled and having it disabled. When you have the setting enabled, you're gonna have a weird file path mods to the mod name, then to an archives folder that's just incorrect, versus the correct file path shown at the very top. You'll have your cyberpunk folder, then the mod name, then archive PC mod to deploy stuff correctly. That's how it's supposed to look. Red mod auto deployment can screw stuff up. This may not be true for everybody, so change these settings around at your own discretion, and if some things break, then maybe this isn't the fix for you.
If you have any questions about anything I've covered in this video or have any errors that came up, any issues that you need resolved, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, helpful, entertaining, I don't know how you'd find it entertaining, but entertaining in any way, please leave a like and even consider subscribing as I'm going to try to upload more. I know every YouTuber says that, so this is fucking nonsense. I don't know what I'm yapping about. God damn it, end the video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I hope you have a fun time playing the newest patch of Cyberpunk and modding the game to your heart's content. Uh, uh, this is the outro now.